JJ Guardian number 1793 coming at you with my new series Builder Bust where we'll take a new build that we've never done and try to take it through legendary onslaught all the way to wave 50. If you like the content, hit us with a like and subscribe. So starting off our, our super, we'll be using Fist of Havoc mainly because whenever you use your heavy attack it will blind and disorient anything, just about anything. For our abilities, we'll be using Rally Barricade for a class ability, mainly because the cooldown on it is way, way lower than the Tower Barricade. For our movement ability, I'll be using Strafe Lift, just mainly because I just like using Strafe Lift. You can use whatever you like right here. I choose Strafe Lift. For our melee, we'll be using Seismic Strike, mainly because, yet again, it will be blinding targets whenever we hit them. And when we're amplified, it will make a bigger explosion. For our grenade, we'll be using our flashbang grenade, and yet you guess it'll be blind to targets. For our aspect, we'll be using Touch of Thunder because it will be enhancing our flashbang grenade. It will emit an additional blinding flash on bounce. For our second aspect, we'll be using Knockout. Uh, critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attack with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short time. And this will also start health regen and it will make you amplified. For our fragments, we will be using Spark of Ions. Defeating a jolted target creates an ionic trace. These ionic traces will be helping with our ability energy. So this is very important so we can get our grenade and melee back as fast as possible. Our second fragment will be using Spark of Shock. Your arc grenades jolt targets. Not only will our grenade be blinding targets, but it will also be jolting targets. So this will be good with overloads and unstoppables. Our next fragment, we have Spark of Instinct. While critically wounded, tanking damage emits a burst of damaging arc energy that jolts targets. So now that we have two ways to jolt targets we'll be getting ionic traces for those those two ways that, that we have now for our last fragment we'll be using spark of beacons while you are amplified your arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion so we'll be blinding everything blowing up everything this is going to be a great build let's get into the exotics that we're using starting off with our exotic weapon we'll be using thunder lord just for the dps this thing is an absolute monster if you haven't tried it give it a shot go ahead and throw on an art surge that way you can get a little bit more deeps out of this thunder lord this thing is absolutely nutty so for our exotic armor we'll be using severance and closure powered melee final blows unleash a damaging explosion finishers and final blows against more powerful targets increase the radius and damage of the explosion looking at our armor mods we have harmonic siphon times two rapid arc weapon final blows create an orb of power we'll also be running heavy ammo finder we'll be increasing the drop chance of heavy ammo on our gauntlets we'll be using a font of focus we'll gain a bonus discipline while we have an armor charge your armor charge now decay over time we'll also be using font of vigor you gain a bonus of strength while you have any armor charge your armor charge and now decay over time for our chest armor, we have harmonic reserves times two. Increase the amount of ammo you can carry for your arc weapons. And I'll be running charged up. Increase the maximum number of stacks of armor charge you can carry by one. On our leg armor, we'll be using recuperation. We'll replenish health each time you pick up an orb of power. But already, your health begins to regenerate immediately after picking up an orb of power. And Absolution, reduce all ability cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power. On our mark, we'll be using Proximity Ward to gain a powerful overshield while performing your finisher. And we'll be using Healthy Finisher. Finishers heal you and it will consume one stack of armor charge. I'll also be running Time Dilation. Your decaying armor charge has a longer duration. So in conclusion, I think this build is really fun. It's something you don't really see. A severance enclosure is pretty nutty. So the takeaway from this is that you don't have to have meta stuff to have fun at Destiny. And this was a great build. We made it to level 49 on Legendary Onslaught, LFG. So, at the end of the day, 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this like an A plus. I think this is a build. Um and I hope that y'all like it. Hit me with that like and subscribe. And as always, peace.